Okay, in this video, what I'll be doing is just um, I've got a, a modern IE virtual machine, and what I'll be doing is just uh, installing the Virtio drivers into it because basically these machines come already set up and they have they come with a AHCI and a, um, IDE driver for the um, hard, for the sort of hard disk image. But if you want to put Vertio on, you can't just um, install the drivers because basically there isn't anything to attach them to. So what I've done is I've created a sort of dummy um, Vertio device. And to create the file that I've put there, what I've done is just, um, you just create an empty, basically blank file with zeros in it. And then attach that to the virtual machine along with the driver CD for the Vertio. And I've also passing through a USB audio device. I'm just going to be doing something quickly with that as well. Okay, so now if you go into device manager, we'll see that the controller uh, doesn't have a driver. So if you basically double click on it, and then update the driver, and then just browse the computer, and then we go to the CD drive that w or image that we attached. And if you go into it and then scroll down till you get to Vio Store and then you choose whichever version of Windows you're running. And so this is 32-bit one, which these images are. And so that basically that's installed in. So now, if we go to disk drives, we can see the other image that we put in is, is now a Vertio disk. But of course our main one is still um, ATA um, uh, hard disk. So what we do is um, you can actually if you go into computer management and then disk management see it even prompt us to create a partition for that blank file that we put in there and see it's attached to the disk now. So now if we shut down and see you can just hear those crackles in the in the sound. So now this is the command you're gonna use now where you've moved the image for the Windows seven onto the um onto the Vertio bus. And so if you run that, and so now if we check it this time, Go to disk drives. See now it's a Vertio disk, so it's been converted nicely and it's using the uh, new driver. So now the next part is we have this USB audio that I've passed through. Um, so you notice that the sound on it is isn't too hot. So if we just have a quick um, quick listen.
here. That's quite crackly. Okay, so what you do can do to solve that, if you go into control panel then into sound, and then if you select the device, USB device, and then go to properties, and then in there you click on advanced, and you notice if you press the test, on, it's on 44100 CD quality, and if you press test, You notice how that sounds quite horrible, but if we change it to 4800 DVD quality, so now you notice that sounds quite clean. And from what I can see, the reason for that is simply because the host is at 4800. So if you don't match the rates, then that's when you have that some um, crackling, because basically it looks as if no conversion is done um, from the um, well from whatever loads the or the USB when it loads on the host machine so all it does is pass it through and of course because of the mismatch in the rate then you, then you get that mess Okay, and as you can hear, that's a lot smoother. Of course you can hear the old artifact or two, but that's partly because this video driver, so it's not running as best as it could. Okay, so that's it. So, if you want to um, see any more videos like this, then if you just subscribe, and then I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.